Coming up on 7 News this morning, area law enforcement partnered up with local children for a special shopping spree. We'll have the heartwarming story for you in just minutes. Plus, it's signing day for a new nursing program with a local college and WVU Medicine. The full story for you coming up later this morning. But first, our top story this morning is your weather. Thank you for joining us for 7 News this morning. I'm Rebecca Little. Much colder temperatures to start our work week. You'll definitely want to grab a coat this morning as you're heading outside. Let's get that live look in for you right now over the highlands where traffic I can see is picking up as opposed to how it was for me this morning. Adam, I did notice a little bit of drizzle this morning for myself, though, but really nothing to complain about because the roads were fine, which I really appreciate. Now mm -hmm. yeah, that was a definite positive of having the warm temperatures this weekend. Rebecca seeing some drizzle, been seeing some snowflakes as well. Even a few stray snow showers, but everything just melting on impact. Bless turn our attention to Storm Tracker 7, where we're noticing some mixed precip across western Pennsylvania. A few lake effects, snow showers trying to move through eastern Ohio. I'm noticing a little bit trying to move into Hancock and Jefferson County. Anything though, I do expect a melting on impact, and anything we see in the way of flurries or a stray snow shower just this morning before we try to see things clear up later on this afternoon. But currently 35 here in Wheeling, but it's coolish 32 in the Millersburg. So definitely make sure you grab that coat as you step out the door this morning. Really, temperatures just slowly rising up through the 30s, really only maxing out in the upper 30s by the time we get to the afternoon. But as we start a new week, expect plenty of sunshine. We will keep things dry, but we're also going to notice our temperatures starting to warm back up. A little bit cooler to cold to start the week, but back into the 50s by the time we get to the weekend. I'll have those details with a full look at my forecast here in just a couple minutes. But for now, back to you, Rebecca. Thank you so much for that, Adam. Well, in a heartwarming holiday initiative, local law enforcement partnered up with more than 100 kids from the community for a special shopping spree. The Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 38 held their annual Cops with Kids program at the Walmart at the Highlands. The FOP partners each year with the Ohio County Sheriff's Office and the Wheeling Police Department. Officers paired up with local kids from the Ohio County School District to shop for any new toys, games, or other items that they wanted. The purpose of the event is to strengthen the bond between a local law enforcement and the children while making sure every child possible experiences the joy of the Christmas season. To see the, the law enforcement in a whole different light, I've been able to see that. And I've already gotten several hugs from little children today that come up and give you a hug, thanking you, the parents, the grandparents, all thank you for it. Some of these kids are going to have a Christmas. And due, due to the great donators that we have out there, they're making this Christmas for us, our guys. Are, we're having the fun job. So we get to go out and have a lot of fun with the children. Now, Sheriff Howard also wants to say that he wishes everybody in the community a happy holiday season. And over to Ohio County now, the City of Wheeling Water Department announced it will be working with a new service provider for online payments effective December 12th. That's this Tuesday. The transition will require customers who pay their bills electronically or through auto pay to re-register and then create a new account through the city's website. The change will also provide additional payment options for the convenience of water customers. Officials stress that as of December 12th, auto pay would not be drafted from customer accounts. And to avoid being late, customers must re-register their account and set it for auto pay if they wish to continue with the feature. To re-enroll in auto pay, visit the wheelingwv.gov homepage and then click on the pay online link or by going to the water department's webpage. With just two weeks left until Christmas, hundreds of people have been flooding stores trying to find the perfect gift this holiday season. Well, sometimes it's just so tough. <laughs> Local malls and stores have been packed with eager shoppers trying to gather gifts and all the holiday essentials as Christmas is officially in two weeks. Shoppers will continue to navigate the crowded aisles and log lines to make sure they have what they need for the big day. From the last minute gift hunters to the holiday enthusiasts, the rush is on to wrap up the holiday shopping season with cheer. Well, a high school football player in California is proving that winning is not always tied to a score. Donya Backus introduces us to this 16 year old brain cancer survivor who is now a source of inspiration for his team and for his community. On the football field, Quinn Kelly makes plays like any other high school defensive end, but off the field, 
His parents say it was hard to imagine Quinn would ever play this sport. No. Especially Never. football. No way. No. Walk to mama. Quinn was a healthy baby until at 14 months he was rushed to the hospital. Doctors discovered Quinn had an astrocytoma, the most common type of brain tumor found in children. It had burst and he needed emergency surgery. He lost all capacities to swallow, move, anything. He just lost absolutely everything. And we never knew if he was ever going to get it back. Quinn spent nearly a month in the hospital, then years in physical, occupational, and speech therapy. It wasn't until the age of six that he was able to walk on his own. Now at 16, he still struggles with balance. I fall down at least at least once every practice. But he never doubted his spot on the gridiron. And as soon as his neurologist cleared him to play, Quinn was not going to fumble the opportunity. Why football? Because it's fun and like, who doesn't want to hit someone? The impact of his hits go beyond the game. He is just one of the guys and just wants to be treated like them and works as hard as everybody else, if not hard times harder. His Malibu High School teammates consider him an inspiration. If Quinn could play football, you could kind of just believe that you could do any physical sport or even just anything. Proving overcoming life's hard knocks is also how you win. Donya Backus, CBS News, Malibu. In other news now, the Heather Miller Memorial Foundation held their annual cookie Christmas sale in Wheeling. The foundation was started by her family and friends after Heather tragically lost her life in an accident in 2008. Heather's mom, Jody, baked, get this, 10,000 Christmas cookies this year that people could pre-order and then pick up. In addition, several other tasty treats were available to purchase at the event. A portion of the proceeds goes to help the foundation's nursing scholarship fund that was created in memory of Heather and her journey as a nursing student. Her mom shared just how far the foundation has come thanks to the people Heather impacted. It has grown leaps and bounds and the community support is just you know fantastic. And I think Gordy, I had somebody come from Pittsburgh to drive down here to get their cookies today. Um, she's just, she's all over the world. Now, Miller also says a docu-series following the journey of Heather as an organ donor has been completed and the foundation will have a viewing at Wheeling Park High School on March 15th. And all new for you this morning, WV Medicine Wheeling Hospital will host its first signing day ceremony to celebrate the inaugural class of their aspiring nurse program. The program was created in 2023 by WV Medicine as a tactic to support registered nurse recruitment and retention in response to national nursing shortages. WV Medicine provides direct payment to students in a cadence over points across their academic journey and ending once employed in return for a three-year work commitment. Wheeling Hospital partnered with Belmont County and has offered positions to 10 students. The signing date is today at 2 this afternoon at Wheeling University. And with temperatures in the 30s, the warmth of summer feels so far away, but Undo's is already thinking about it with Sunday's Italian Festival Christmas Gala. Wine and hors d'oeuvres capped off a sparkling dinner event to raise money for next year's celebration of Mediterranean heritage in the Valley. The money raised will go toward the festival's scholarship fund. Now this is the fourth year Undo's West has hosted the December event, but the festival itself has continued for more than 40. Still to come this morning, the latest details from the Ohio State House on recreational marijuana. The full story is coming up, but first, Adam. Well, it's a calm, but a colder start to the morning. So definitely want to make sure you grab a coat as you step out the door this morning. But let's take another live look outside over the highlands, where the good news, we're relatively calm. Just might notice a few snowflakes or a stray lake effect snow shower. But don't expect to see anything in the way of accumulation. The time right now is 6.09, and while you're in your car, you can listen to your local 7 News headlines over on WKKX AM 1600, the Valley's Watchdog Network. We'll be right back. 